Singtel's first quarter net profit has slumped by more than a third compared to a year ago. It's also a 16-year low. The telco says that's because of poor performance by its Indian associate Bharti Airtel and higher costs. Cheryl Lin with this report. Telco giant Singtel says its first quarter earnings reflect intense competition as net profit hit its lowest level in over a decade. For the three months ended June 2019, net profit tumbled 35 percent to $541 million. It's down from the nearly $832 million a year ago. Singtel's operating revenue inched up 2 percent year on year to $4.1 billion. Its earnings were held up by growth in its digital businesses such as cybersecurity. A larger postpaid customer base in Australia and Singapore also supported its growth. But these were not enough to offset higher depreciation and amortization costs, such as the gradual write-off in the initial cost of its network assets across the group. Even though its associates in Indonesia and the Philippines, for example, were performing decently, India's Bharti Airtel was still a big drag. Its performance was weighed down by higher network costs as well as finance charges for expanding its 4G networks. Nevertheless, the firm is still positive about Bharti Airtel's long-term returns. It's a large market. Uh, there is significant growth potential with the digitalization of the entire Indian economy. And, you know, we are very well positioned. Bharti is now, well, you know, one of the three remaining mobile players in the market. With market consolidation, we've seen price stabilization. Singtel says it remains focused on the digitalization of its core business and has amended its forecast. It's expecting higher earnings before tax in the coming quarters. But analysts say the economic environment will be challenging. We are now facing a global economic slowdown and uh, Singtel has a very large operation in Australia market and we are seeing the Aussie dollar is weakening and also domestically Singtel is facing uh, intensified competition among uh, local players um, and that's going to weigh on the company's uh, uh, growth. Analysts have also noted Singtel's ambitions to roll out its 5G network in the region. This could incur high capital expenditure, squeezing its future profits. No dividend was recommended for the first quarter, but Singtel has previously committed to ordinary dividends of 17.5 cents a share for the financial year ending March 2020. Singtel closed at 3.26 per share, down nearly 1% on Thursday.